Hello there, folks. Kirk and Jason here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today, what I'm going to do is show you guys how to mix this quick heat stucco. Now, a fellow from Connecticut, Robert, uh, where the heck is Connecticut? Anyway, Robert called me and said, Kirk, can you show me how to mix this? And we're generally mixing in mixers, big uh, mixers we tow behind the trucks. But, of course, I know how to mix it in buckets, too. Now this product here, this is a fiberglass reinforced stucco, it's a one coat stucco and that, that basically means you can put a coat on and it's that fiberglass reinforced stucco is nothing new guys. Back in the 80s, early 80s when I was union, we used to use the fiberglass reinforced fibered mesh, La Habra made it, Western made it, Omega made it, so it's, it's nothing new. Anyway, we're going to show you how to mix this uh, quick crete. I always look for an extra K here thinking quick Crete, but quick Crete. Anyhow, um, what we have already done is I kind of, a bucket, uh, these are 80 pound bags. Now, an 80 pound bag will mix more than one bucket, so we're going to improvise a little bit. For every 80 pound bucket, it's usually about five to six quarts. Uh, I'm not certain how much we're going to need here, but I'm just going to give you the basics, uh, Robert, of how to do this stuff. Now, generally, what I'll do, or what Jay will usually do, is he'll take this bucket and or you take this bag here and fill the bucket up. Okay, so we're going to do that. Now generally I will have a mask too, and so does Jay, and glasses. This stuff gets in your eyeballs and pretty nasty stuff. But if I have a mask on then I can't show you folks how to do it. And after 30 years of inhaling this stuff, um, I figure what the heck. Alright, now we got a bucket bucket filled with uh, most of that bag there. I'll take, I think there's about three quarts of water in here. Now, the bag says, hold it here and mix as you're doing it. You need two guys. I can do it this way, guys. I've been doing this for years. You take a drill, any kind of drill. It doesn't have to be the one I'm using. And it doesn't have to, <coughs> excuse me, it ha doesn't have to be this particular paddle. There's about 50 different paddles. There's about 20 different drills. Um, now this drill goes both ways. It'll pull the mud down or it'll pull it up. Uh, it's got a reverse on it. So what I'll generally do is, <laughs> number, another thing too, I keep a full bucket of water because if I put this drill in it and I start doing something else, if it's a half a bucket of water, it's not heavy enough, it, the drill will fall over and all the water will go into the components. So if you're going to do it guys, have a full bucket of water, at least to hold this in, and plus you want to wet the blade. You wet the blade, get it nice and wet. That way when you go in here, uh, it'll mix better and won't stick to this blade. Now, what you want to do too, guys, is get this cord away, because you don't want to start mixing and have the cord wrap up in here. I've done that more than my share of times, so. Okay, I'm going to get started. Now this particular stuff has sand in it. As well, everything you need is in this bucket right here. You don't need to add lime. The lime is in it. And if it's a little too rich, a little too sandy, a little too dry, a little too watery, we improvise. Now, now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm holding the in reverse. That way it pulls it down. In reverse, we'll pull it down, guys. See, if I go, that's another thing too. It'll spin. If you get if you get it where it's spinning, just go in reverse. Up, oh, you don't want that because now we get kind of compromised. All right, here we go once more. A little bit out of time, and if it gets too hard, guys, you can add a little bit more water. What I did was. I got a little, my drinking water bottles here, and I'll put a little bit more water in it. And one more thing too, guys, this is a must. You take a trowel, it doesn't matter what kind of trowel, and you go and get the edges. That's a huge deal right there. Now let's try this one more time. Different ways to go. What I want to do is get all the mud off the sides. 
80% of this bucket is mixed. Now I want to take the bottom. And this will go all the way down by itself. The drill by itself. If I put it in reverse, it'll just pull it all the way down. And there you go, guys. That's a perfect mix. And doesn't take that long. And here's another thing too, guys. You don't want to over mix your one coat materials. They're about... See, now I put it in forward and it just pops it out for me. I'll put this guy right in here and clean the blade. Nothing worse than a dirty blade. But a lot of these materials, these one coat materials, you cannot over mix it because it beats up the integrity of them. So anyway, guys, this is what you want. You want your mud just like this from the top to the bottom. That way you could apply it. That's good mud here. If it's fallen off, if it's fallen off of this trowel, put some more um, material in it. If it's uh, way too stiff, add some more water and just mix it. Anyway, Robert, I told you I'd show you how we do it in a drill. Again, we usually use mixers where we add our own sand. We'll put a 100 pound bag, 90 pound bag, and then three to one with sand. But if you buy this at, say, Lowe's, Home Depot, you don't have to do that. You, all these, are, these bags have everything you need in it. Just add water. Anyway, guys, my name is Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering, Jason on the camera. And as usual, folks, we will see you guys on the next one.